Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I'm your host, The Podcaster, and today we're playing Little Nightmares 2, which came out in uh, 2021, I believe, in January or February. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. That's the date of 2020. April 1st. Uh, I have to scroll all the way down. This is just terms and service. Terms and conditions, terms and services. Alright. Uh, this barely doesn't. Okay. Well, numbers to access the data periodically. Do not switch off the power if you see this. Alright. Okay, I gotta turn the. Alright, there we go. Alright. I was having trouble hearing. Alright. Yeah, this game came out in 2021 and still looks it's creepy. Listen to music. That's scary. Let's play a new game. A door? What is the... Oh, uh, there, there are some sounds I've never heard. And here we are. Uh, if I'm correct, my character which I know I've played this game since 2017 when it first came out and uh, this in 2021 that here is our character mono uh, which means one singular only in Greek or yeah Greek or Latin and you can make him do the, uh, the reverse Noon lock. Just all right. Just gotta quickly remember the controls. All right. This game is, uh, you know, came out uh way after uh, Little Nightmares one, 2017, and this one came out in 2021. Um, uh, uh, I prefer this over uh. This over uh, Little Nightmares One, even though Little Nightmares One is just S tier awesome. Trying to figure, I've always been trying to figure what that is. It's like a skinned animal. Something you'll notice in the DLC of Little Nightmares One and the main game, they didn't have shoes. In this one, neither does he. It, which would suck to walk around because you know he'll step on broken glass uh, in the woods. Like you, there's a certain distance I can walk without shoes before it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, this is just m more visually appealing. That's not a visually appealing, but you know. Just wait a minute. I'm trying to look at all the areas that could have uh, little secrets, because I've played the game before, and I, I remember most of the game. I don't, however, remember where the secrets are. Well, most of the secrets. Yeah, this you could tell this world's twisted with all the trees, the massive hole. And uh, later, when you see uh, the city, yeah, uh, just gonna uh, I'm 
Huh. Broken box. Or, uh, trap. All I know is, like, there's an area where you can go to under these, but I don't know which one it is. So, yeah, that must have snapped, and it was like a... Uh, you hit something, and... Oh, okay, that's a box. It looked like a sound system. Like right over there. This one isn't going to be like uh, that even like stuff because it's going to be good time. If I remember you could s Okay, hang on. I gotta remember how to slide. I remember you Hang on. Settings. Controls. Move. Look at me. Crouch. Slide. Ah, okay. So that's... Yeah, you have to just get into a run when sliding. Oh. I was L it was uh, L1. Not uh, L2. Oh no, it is. Okay. That's a bit odd. Okay. Yeah. I can I get under there? Oh, I cannot. I know how to play, it's just the lack of uh, me remembering where everything was. Yeah, there's a bunch of TVs around here. In the opening area, there's like maybe five or six. And over there, there's one over there. Oh, at the same time, that could have been a box. Not at all creepy. Was that an area right there? recently because the feet are decayed. Well, rigor mortis is most likely setting in. Or time's been disrupted to the point where uh, you don't decay. Because the characters in this game, no, no characters do decay in this game. Flies appear, uh, you will see like, you know, decayed bodies. What I have noticed in the game is the games is like six r uh, runs faster, but mono is all stronger. That scared me. But yeah, that's the thing I've noticed. Six is faster, mono stronger. He's able to. He has more pockets. She's able to run fast and sneak away. He's more of a. Uh, the fighting type. Like Pokemon. Bear traps, bear trap, bear trap, bear trap, stick. Right. Oops. 
Yeah, now I don't know how bear traps work. So, but I'm pretty sure that stick would be, you know, snapped in half like that. Thank God it wasn't any, any farther. I would be dead. What did I, what did I just do? just jumped a little too far. Alright, pike pine cones. That's a that's a lot of bear traps. Really? Everywhere I hit I missed them. Not there. Bear trap right there. And a bear trap right there. Okay. Yeah, you get an achievement if you, uh, uh, don't get killed by any of the traps on the way. So I wouldn't get that achievement, uh, if I, uh, I wouldn't get that achievement, but I already completed the game, uh, the game and the trophies. That was loud. Who throws a toilet out? Alright, let's get inside. Knock knock, I'm a homeless child. <laughs> Can't you get food? Uh, never mind, I don't want the food. Oh, another one I am aware of is, uh, fridge. You open up the fridge and, uh, you'll get a, uh, get a trophy. So here's something, uh, something I thought. I don't think these guys need food to survive because they've been so twisted and distorted because almost all the food's rotting. Dishes are on that are piled up, you know, unless they don't need it, unless they need food but can't be good, which was, I think, either there or here, I can't remember, ah, uh, okay, oh, I love that, uh, little music, equip collected hats in the hat menu, so, there's, oh, uh, you know, oh, 12 hats? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, you get two from a pre-order. This one and that one. I thought this one was a dunce hat, but you get it if you get the uh, Deluxe Edition. And you get this one if you pre-order it. So this is the hat. So... I think I'll stick with the mono hat for now. Yeah, there's a bunch of. I've just noticed there's a bunch of stuff on the floor. Looks some of it looks like uh, broken plates or cloth. Now that I think about it, it's probably cloth considering we're going. Until I, until I played later. Why can't I have it? Ah, okay. Something else in here. Uh. I don't. Yeah, I don't usually wear with earbuds. 
up. So I've never heard, you know, many of these sounds. So, yeah, there's a slight hum to it. So, I don't know why she hasn't successfully heard this yet. I wonder if I could... I'm, actually, I wonder if I can... Ah, I'll get started by that, but... We'll get started by this. Which makes sense. real name, so. Rude. <sighs> so, okay. So, uh, if we take a minute to, uh, and look at this, so it's, see tally marks? One dude right there. A uh, kid that I know out right there with his face crossed out. Someone right there and a tower. And a bunch of tally marks, uh, of course. Um, so if we take a look at the tally marks, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, 35, 40, 45, 50. So 50 days could be, uh, or 50 uh, weeks, because if it's 50 months, uh, I think six would be a bit too old uh, to look like the age she is. Let me take a quick look. So, twelve. Be about six hundred days. So. So, it should be about 10, or yeah, the first, yeah. So I think it might just be days, 50 days. These uh, chapters are a lot longer than, uh, 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 Little Memories 1, but uh, I think a bit shorter than Little Memories uh, DLC. It's not a pretty sight to see. The thing is, none of these food. Uh, this food looks spoiled, but there's no flies on it. Yeah, I think this game. Uh, the seek the third. Uh, game in this series comes out like 2024 to 2025. So. of a long friendship. I don't know how he didn't hear that. It sounds like he's in this one. Oh, that noise is loud. So, there's prosthetics in here that we'll find later in the game, so that makes me wonder, to wonder if the uh, third uh, antagonist in this game uh, gets his stuff from the hunter. I think came out two years ago, and I'm acting like uh, it came out a week ago. So, a wheel. And that, that. Oh yeah, if you were to pull that out, a, a thing would uh, a gnome would appear. Uh, but you you need the dual exhibition. And I've just noticed that that person has feet, which you know explains a lot considering. Okay, it's triangle to call. There you go. Hat. You get that hat later in the game too. I think you have to complete the ending and get uh, all of other secrets. No, that's not creepy.
guy? That's that's just disgusting. And we came across the, you know, three people with, you know, really disfigured. really bad. Yeah. Okay, what is going on? There you go. There? Ah, no, I keep overshooting. It's the only problem I have with the dollhouse mode. Yeah, I do wish there was maybe like a third person point of view or uh, or first person, but the reason why the dollhouse uh, vision is there is for you know, a really good reason. It's just I wish there was more views. And I actually never mind. It would actually pro it would probably break the immersion if it was in third, and reveal too many story details if it was in first. Like you know, uh, what what uh, certain characters look like from up close. Um, you know, normal details you can. I don't know how I didn't die. Any other uh, time I would have died, but you know, other details from. Uh, you know, future games or past games. So yeah, it wouldn't work. I just have realized. Right. Is Shrek gonna come out of there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shrek. You're not Shrek. Where is he reaching? Is he reaching for a picture of the moose? That's a really big moose. But then again, I'm like a foot tall. And what kind of monster do you have to be to, f to stuff a bunch of toilet rolls into the toilet? Or outhouse? Because, you know, 2021, I think there's still a toilet paper s uh, shortage. You know, don't be, sh don't be, s don't be selfish. <laughs> uh, such an odd sound I hear with earbuds. Yeah, because with, well, you know, without earbuds, the travel dissipates, uh, the sound dissipates a bit. You don't think I know that? Well, I wouldn't say dissipate, but, uh, you know, is a lot less as effective. What's that? That looks like a pig. That's a nice shotgun. I uh, uh, wonder what type of double barrels they had in, like, the 60s. Because it looks like a, uh, this is definitely, you know, uh, the best for him. I don't know, I'll go away from anything else. as I was saying um, I think this takes place in the 40s 50s or 60s maybe 70s because of the TV style the building uh, layout and oh, building layout and uh, weapons or you know materials is definitely uh, yeah like there's not a, you know the flashlights not on the gun so I'm thinking this takes place in 60 the 60s or two that like a uh, dystopian 2000 2000 
but I think it I think it takes place in like the 50s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. I don't know when the first. I think the first TV came out in the 50s, so it could be 50s. I hate this part so much. Crud. I did not mean to do that. I meant to I meant to let go of six, but I messed up. I meant to let go of six and not crouch, but I pressed I let go of the wrong button. Alright, I think if we stay crouched he can't see us. Okay, yeah. My theory proves correct. start turning and when he starts turning oh it's a good thing she moved out of the way just in time with her head would be missing huh I think this might take place in the 60s because of the rat tunnels. I think, yeah, uh, no, you know, 60s then during the Vietnam War, there were uh, tunnels called, you know, rat tunnels uh, used by uh, the uh, Viet Cong. And um, they were used to either relay information, they could be living quarters, uh, you know, uh, uh, hospitals or uh, just simply ways to get around better. Um, you know, it was being a there would be two people with uh, who would go into rat tunnels, find information, and destroy them. Uh, you know, the rangers or marines or no, I can't remember what they were called, but I know I think they were called. They they had some rat in it, and um, and no, I think I might I think I might be mixing that up with the uh, rats of Terbronk, which are the forties uh, people in Australia during the World War II, um, but during that, during, uh, yeah, that's a long drop, but during, uh, Vietnam, there, uh, they, I think they had one of the most higher, uh, casualty rates because, uh, like, the tunnels will collapse, there would be enemy forces, or, um, oxygen issues, so, yeah. So this could place t take place in the 50s in the hunter, or people are using the, and people are using the uh, tunnels or making tun, making tunnels to get out. Because if you look at the Lone Nightmares comics, there's uh, the blindfold kid who has, um, who goes into these tunnels, and kind of like a living area. So I'm thinking it has something to do with. Uh, he has something to do with that. And if I, I will look up there, there's a hat, so. I don't know how I didn't fall off. So time does work to a degree because that person's suffering from uh, decomposition. So I got another hat. So I have three hats: bag, uh, rain hat, and raccoon hat. So it does not fit with the aesthetic. So let's see if this is a, fits with the aesthetic. A little bit, but I think I'll still with the bag head hat and keep on going. And I think that's all the hats for this level. Okay. 
this level, this part of the level will accept it. Sometimes I'll reload uh, every shot. Or... See? He just won't get a shot like this. Or what will happen is he'll be able to double fight. See, he's double fired. I guess since it is a double barrel. He could just be saving it, making his uh, fire attacks uh, less predictable. Ooh. I just realized we're in Dookie. What? Or uh, mud or Dookie. I mean, there's, you know, flies, so it's. And we're near a uh, uh, area where he skins animals. So it could be. Uh, where he dumps all the uh, waste from animals. Well, I mean, we're also on our swamp, so it could be. Could be both. That, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, after this, they never. Uh, they don't really get dirty to, uh, again. Unless they got. Unless they fall into, like, you know. I think. Uh, dust. Like they get trapped in dust. <laughs> I'm tired of moving in a bunch of dookie water. It's disgusting. It's unhygienic. So there's an arrow, a heart with an arrow on it, so maybe this would be under, you know, the previously adopted. The hunter, maybe he had loved somebody, and then the signal tower uh, corrupted him. Man, that was a terrible one. symbol uh, uh the crow things crow symbolize uh, death so it's kind of cool that crows are here because you know they're eating uh the dead stuff but they're also here to symbolize uh you know someone dies <laughs> Yeah, he's actually, doesn't it seem like he's actively shooting at six. He attempted to shoot me, uh, but, you know, six was there. He only killed me. Shot yeah, I would not stop a, uh, uh, 200 pound uh, dude who just wants to break the door. Only gets louder with. Oh, that gave me a headache. <laughs> it only gets louder with uh, with earbuds. I was not expecting that to give me a headache. All right, well, let's get off this island. Is that a bottle or a, a very tiny buoy? I think it's just a bottle. Yeah, you can see the lid. And that's a buoy. 
I don't think a door would be that stable. Pulled somebody. Or it is, and Rose was just not going to let Jack onto that door. Two TV, three TVs. Yeah, when the buildings look like they're having a tough time keeping the infrastructure right, you know, you, you know this is not going to be a good city. They moved so frequently, they might as well have been breathing. Right. I am aware of one more uh, person or thing here, and that is this guy. Because if you're like me the first time you played this, you wouldn't even notice him. Hi, buddy. Having fun? But you're watching on the broken TV. Must look mighty interesting. Let's just... Okay. I was having trouble getting him. I am aware of another trophy, and it's if you press triangle 26 times. Uh, you get an achievement that says, uh, we heard you the first time. Cool. Alright. Okay, hang on. Alright, well... Unfortunately, that's all I can do for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time, and I'll be doing part two of this. And hopefully this will be a longer series than most of my uh, other things. Because I actually, I like this, uh, you know, game. We, we could do a five-part uh, series. And then when World Nightmares 3 comes out, we can all, uh, you know, play it, have fun. It'll be fun to talk about and, you know, know the true lore behind all of this. So... See ya.